What's going on everybody? Sean Hyken here with you from Odds Checker, just getting you ready for this Monday night slate of NBA games. First, the Lakers and the Hawks. The Lakers are favored by 6.5 points, but you can actually get them at plus 101 right now on resortscasino.com. And I think that the odds are what they are, even though the Lakers are favored, just because LeBron James and Anthony Davis are both listed as questionable. I would expect that they both play, and if they both play, then I think Lakers minus 6.5 is a pretty safe pick. They're a significantly better team than the Hawks, and you know both of these teams have been kind of up and down lately. The Lakers lost a couple in a row, and then they got that big win against the Celtics over the weekend, and I think they want to end this road trip on a good note, so I would expect that we're going to get, if those two, assuming those two play, which I think they are, we're going to probably see those two, you know, the best version of those two just kind of to end the road trip. So I like Lakers minus six and a half there, especially at that price. Now the Knicks and the Bulls, uh, you can get the over-under on Zach Levine for three and a half threes. You can get the over at plus 120 right now on MGM. And you know, Zach Levine, he's come in kind of on a tear lately. He's hit, uh, he's hit six three-pointers in each of the Bulls' last two games. And, you know, he would have been the story of that game against Portland the other night if Damian Lillard hadn't hit two threes in the closing seconds to steal the game. But, you know, he's kind of been shooting hot. Uh, they're, they're home against the Knicks. I think, you know, he, if he, you know, it's not crazy to expect him to have another big three-point shooting night. So over three and a half threes at plus 120 is the, the pick that I like there. Now, moving from, you know, that one side of that game between the Bulls and the Blazers the other night to the other one, the Blazers continue their road trip. They're in Milwaukee, and... I like Giannis to have 35 or more points, which you can get at plus 220 on FanDuel right now. The Blazers' rim protection, the Blazers' interior defense, is not good at all right now. They're among the worst defensive teams in the league. Giannis is going to be able to get to the rim basically whenever he wants. So I would expect him to have a pretty big game against Portland's defense. I Whether the Blazers are going to be able to you know, build on winning this game uh, against the Bulls the other night to beat the Bucks, the Bucks have struggled lately, I don't know, but... Just kind of independent of who wins the game, I think Giannis having a big scoring night and scoring 35 or more points is a pretty good value play there. And then the Grizzlies and the Spurs. Uh, I tend to go the other way when one team wins the first game of one of these two-game series. I've been getting burned on those lately, so I'm kind of going to go the other way. It, you know, especially, you know, Memphis has won six games in a row. They're I feel like they can kind of keep it going here. They're, you can get their Grizzlies money line right now at plus 145 at uh, bet 365 right now. So I would just kind of stick with the Grizzlies. They're hot right now. They survived that John Morant absence. They survived, uh, you know, having a bunch of their games postponed because of the health and safety protocols. They've been winning since they got back on the court. And I'd like them to continue to win in this game against uh, the Spurs, the second in their two-game series. Uh, so those are the picks that I like for tonight. This has been Sean Hyken. I'll be back with you on Wednesday.